morning everyone happy sunday uh i don't even know what time it is right now it's 11 32 and uh we've been out for a while we had uh, we had some quiche for breakfast that my sister bought at costco and francisco didn't like it but i did i thought it was pretty good it's the one i think it's like the something terra brand it comes with two different flavors um, it's usually in the fridge section. Um, I don't think I showed you guys that we bought that for Costco yesterday, but my sister wanted to have it. So, uh, we had some leftovers from yesterday that she only ate a quarter. So we basically cooked the other ones today and had that for breakfast. And then I was getting ready our grocery list for the week and, um, we're waiting for Francisco's parents to see if they're going to want to meet. So we're going to meet with them in a little bit. But today is just a normal Sunday, um, groceries, uh, dinner or lunch with Francisco's parents. And then we need to go find some gift bags and like wrapping paper because we got all of our Christmas gifts already. I think we're almost ready to go, but we need bags to put everything in because I don't think we're going to wrap most of them because a lot of it's like clothes and things like that. So uh yeah so we're gonna go on a mission later today or tomorrow to go find some bags and i think that's the update for now so i think i'm just quickly gonna throw a little bit of makeup on just so i don't look so dead because my under eyes are just <sighs> the usual but anyways i don't think i want to do like a full foundation i might just do like a little bit of concealer and by a little bit i mean like everywhere i don't think that's there's anything else to say so I'm just going to get ready so we can go to Whole Foods. All right. And this is what we're working with for today. I ended up doing the Too Faced uh, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have it in light beige. So basically what I did, I just kind of dotted it all over my face. This is like pretty full coverage almost. Um, as long as you don't shear it out, which I did. I ended up using a little sponge just to kind of shear it out through my whole face so it wouldn't be like two foot coverage but obviously as you guys can see it does give you coverage so these are so good I love pulling these back out every time I don't want to do my makeup like my full makeup then I set it all with the hello the elf halo glow setting powder I used these um nude sticks little bronzer and highlight they're the trio that um alana davison came out with they're like the mini size and then i used the ulta beauty matte cream eyeshadow in vintage beauty and it was a little goopy like when i was taking it out so it kind of went a little bit thicker than i wanted it to but i still think it looks really pretty i ended up putting just the same highlight that the nude sticks one in my inner corner and then for my brows, I just have the Believe Beauty eyebrow, um, uh, what is it called? Eyebrow styling gel. And this is the dark brown one. I really like this one for like easy makeup. And then I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I think that's it. That's all we have on. And I'm just going to put my hair down. I'm probably not going to do much to it. All right. After making a disaster in my room, I decided to go with this outfit just because it's super super cold outside i'm just wearing my old navy jeans um i think this velour sweater is from h&m no express no yes express and i don't know if they carry the same one anymore but i love it it's like a super pretty velour um material and it has like the pockets it has a hoodie which i rarely use but I figured, well, if it gets really cold, I can wear it. It has a zipper, and I'm wearing just like a mock neck, turtleneck that you can barely see from the Walmart one. Do you like mommy's clothes? No. Oh. So Hello, we just got back from groceries. It's 1.30. We're running a little late, but I tried to be pretty quick. But I want to show you guys really, really quickly what we got from the store, just because, I don't know. I don't know why. I just want to show you. All right, so we got these from Kettle and Fire. We've never tried this flavor, the miso soup flavor. And I think it's going to be good for, I want to make like an Asian bowl. And, and I was thinking maybe we can do this as like 
the you know the beginning oh my gosh i can't speak like kind of like an intro i don't know you a know a side but it's not a side it's like an intro to the dinner you know like this will be what we drink first and then we eat the food you know what i mean kind of like when you go to like a sushi place they give you like the food soup first and then you eat your sushi that oh my gosh anyways so about two of those and we'll see how those are i bought three of these they didn't have the regular one they only had the low sodium which is not typically what i buy but i was like oh, whatever so i got three of those because i'm gonna make my squash soup that i make for our lunches so i bought frozen squash this is super easy i love it you don't have to cut anything peel anything do anything you just throw this and it's ready to go i bought some red wine vinegar because we were out I got soups for the week. Well, actually, I probably didn't need to buy this since I'm making soup, but whatever. I haven't tried this flavor, the split pea, but I like pea, so I figured I might like that one. And then I got Francisco lentils. Then he wanted to try this from On The Rocks. So it's pretty much a company that makes uh, drinks that are pre-mixed and everything. So you just add them to ice and you're ready to go. And his is an old fashioned because he's been really enjoying those drinks. So we'll see how that tastes. Got some lactose-free milk, got some grapefruit juice, and then they didn't have the sour cream we usually buy, but I've been wanting to try this brand, the Gold Culture, and it's lactose-free sour cream, so I don't know. The texture feels similar to like regular sour cream, so we'll see. All right, and then the rest of the groceries are basically just veggies, so I got celery sticks. I'm going to throw these into the soup for the lunches. Same thing with this, the organic broccoli slaw i've bought this before for like tacos and things but i actually think it might taste good with the soup because it's broccoli i don't know why i couldn't just buy regular broccoli i don't know whatever because i think this is just easier then i got some carrots for the soup i got a ton of zucchini because i want to use it for the soup but also for the asian rice bowl that i'm gonna make got some avocados got a huge bouquet of parsley look at this beautiful beautiful parsley i love it last one i got was like a third i don't know how they measure their parsley but i love it and then i got some green onions for my asian bowl and yeah so those are all the things for this week those are all the things i bought for groceries this week i'm gonna make this thing that my mom left for us while she was here she froze some food while she was here that obviously we just didn't finish one of them is uh, we call them porotos con rienda and it's basically just beans and noodles which sounds really weird but it's actually really good and she left the sauce to make it so all i need to do is cook the noodles which we have so we'll probably have that one of the days during the week <clears throat> since it's going to be a rainy week so usually where i'm from that's what they eat when it rains anyways francisco went to pump gas and I'm waiting for him to come back. And then we're going to go meet with uh, his parents. So I'll probably leave all that there for now until we come back. And I'll put it away then. But I already put away all like the fridge food. Wow, that was a lot of water. Are you nice and hydrated? Yeah? Okay. Hello everyone, it is about 8.30 p.m. and I've decided I'm gonna make the butternut, butternut, no, butternut squash soup. And I have everything laid out, but I wanted to quickly show you guys how I make it. It's, again, super easy, not much science behind it, but I wanted to show you guys. And also, I want to make this recipe, which is the tomato basil pastries. We have the puff pastries already in the fridge, so I would have to put, just put it together and throw it in the oven. But I want to make it before those go bad because I think they're good until the 30th, my sister said. So I'll make those today and then just kind of eat them today and tomorrow or something. So it's basically just puff pastry 
mozzarella cheese, tomato, basil leaves, a uh, large egg, and a pinch of salt. And I'm trying to use up the basil that we have too. So I'm gonna look up to see if I can make like some type of paste or something with it and like freeze it so that it doesn't go bad. I'm pretty sure I can find something on Pinterest, so we'll see. But first, let me show you guys the soup. All right, so in here we have the chicken breast, which um, comes with like two breasts. And usually that's how much I use for the soup. And I'll show you guys how I do it in a little bit. I have three of this chicken broth, the kettle on fire. The other two are over there. I have some carrots, zucchini, the broccoli slaw, celery sticks, and the butternut squash for rosin. These are two packs, which equals out to about like two squashes maybe or so. So let's go ahead and assemble it. It's super, super easy. I just needed to cut off the ends of these and all that. So you guys will see that right now. Alright, so for the next recipe, which is the tomato basil pastries recipe, I mean, it's just basically putting it together. I have already the mozzarella cheese. This is just the regular one from Costco. I have one tomato sliced, and I tried to do like thinner slices because I am not sure exactly how I'm going to lay them out. I have about eight uh, basil leaves that I just pulled out and washed. The puff pastry, which it says to cut into four. So we'll see what that looks like. Um, and then I have one egg beaten, which I'm assuming you're probably gonna do a, like a egg wash on the corners to make sure it's nice and toasty. I have the oven going at 400, it's preheating. And I have my sheet here, which I'm actually gonna put over here instead so I can do the, maybe the arrangement. Mm, well, maybe I'll do it on the other side, we'll see. And then these basils, I just need to go through them to see which ones I wanna keep. And these I'm gonna freeze, which is just celery and the leftover carrots for like the next soup time. So my camera just died, but here we have the pastries folded over with the egg wash and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on top and then we're going to throw them in the oven. So don't they look just so adorable? I'm so ready to eat these. So.
right, these are beautiful. I don't know if they're gonna look that good on camera, but they come out so pretty. And I'm very excited to try them right now. They look All good. right, so here I have some eggplant that I just simmered, as I showed you guys. So you simmer them in um, half vinegar of your choice and half water and you just blanch them basically you don't like cook them all the way and you can do them as long or as so short as you want depending on the consistency you want on them i wanted to leave them a little longer than like my mom does she likes them a little bit with more texture um but i like them a little bit more like you know soft but anyway so i have two eggplants that i cooked in here and you separate them with uh, paper towels just so that kind of absorbs all the liquids here I have some chopped garlic, some dried oregano, salt, which was supposed to be in the water, but my mom didn't tell me, so now I'm gonna have to add them into the jar. And then I have some olive oil, and then we're gonna put them in this jar. So I'm gonna wait till this cools down a little bit. I get pedacas in frío, no? Yeah, okay. Uh, so you wanna wait till these cool down. Totalmente? Entonces capaz que mejor mañana, no? Okay. So I'm gonna wait to finish these tomorrow. So I guess. I'll put these away for tomorrow. And then this soup is almost done. And then over here, I'm gonna eat that right now. So that's what we have going. Oh, sir. What happened? Oh my, what happened? What happened? All right, so here we have the chicken that's been shredded. I mean, I tried to shred it, but I just don't have the patience. So I'll just cut them into pieces. And here we have the soup that's ready to go and i have my little i forget what this is called like the little ham blender thingy majigger and we're gonna go ahead and blend it all up make it a little creamy soup and we'll add this back into the soup